<laughs> Say hi, I'm Varric. Hi, I'm Varric. And I am two years old. And I'm two years old. My mom and me and dad are part of a circle. A sacred circle. Huh? A sacred circle. Yep. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Good job. You are part of the circle too. Can you say that? I'm part of the circle. You are too. I am too. Say you are too. How many? How many? How many? What's that gonna be? Hi, I am Charlie. I am in second grade. I like venom. Welcome to church on this fourth sun. 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Do you know what the color for, is for Ordinary Time? Green! It means that we grow with God. We are a part of the sacred circle of life. Of creation. Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm in sixth grade. One thing I like about it is that I get to be at school with my friends. Please light your candle, smudge, or incense as we begin our service and unity as a part of the sacred circle. Hello, I am Jojo. I love monster fire trucks. That is, the monster trucks are on the, are on the mission. Please join us in the call to worship as printed in your guide and on your screen. God called the people of Israel to be ready to leave slavery in Egypt. Are you ready for God to lead you into a new life? Yes, we are ready. St. Paul reminds us of Jesus, to Jesus' call to love our neighbors as ourselves. Are you ready to love one another? Yes, we are ready. Jesus calls us to work out our differences and find new ways to get along. Are you ready to work together and get along and share the good news? Yes, we are ready. Our psalm calls us to sing a new song to God. Are you ready to sing a new song of praise? Yes, we are ready. Then let us worship God. Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Ivy. And I am in the eighth grade. And I'm in the sixth grade. And I'm excited about online learning this year. And I'm excited about softball this year. Please join us in our opening prayer as printed on your screen. God of freedom, God of love, God of life, we gather within the sacred circle of this community to give you thanks for the lives and stories of our ancestors. We celebrate the stories that we too live as you people. We come before you ready to hear and respond to your word. Amen and a Good morning, friends. I'm Pastor Lisa Harmon, and I hope you are as excited as I am to see our youth lead today. In fact, they did it so well, I might soon be out of a job. Reminder today that we have our second Sunday coffee hour on Zoom. If you haven't registered, there's still time. Just email info at firstchurchbillings.org, and we'll get you set up. Today is also rally day, and it's not quite like others we've had. And still, God is God, God is with us, and we are part of a sacred circle, whether we are gathered in person or virtually. In fact, with pandemic, I don't know about you, but some of us have had to dig deeper to live into those truths, things taken for granted pre-COVID, as we had regular rhythms to see each other and be in community. God is God, God is with us in Christ Jesus and in the Holy Spirit, and we're part of a beautiful tapestry and a sacred circle. I hope you've been able to claim these truths as your own, remembering that bound in covenant community, together we're strong. And now please enjoy our opening hymn from our UCC National Youth, which features our, one of our youth, Nevaeh Little Wolf. Enjoy. Just to turn away
world But in courage and love We find together we're strong We have wisdom, purpose and youth Let the gospel ignite Holy One be our light We are here for a time such as Together we're strong indeed, and we come together that we might draw closer to our compassionate and loving God whose spirit dwells in us. We come together that we might recognize, uplift, and celebrate that spirit in each other, in a world that seems to want to separate us and divide us and keep us from seeing in each other a shared face of humanity. Let us reach out as a body in Christ that loves abundantly and unconditionally and holy, and let us now pass the peace of Christ, the peace of Christ with you. Amen. And now hear these words of God's holy community. In the book of Exodus in the Bible, we read the story of how the people of Israel were slaves in Egypt. They cried out to God who promised them to set them free and 
God called Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to lead them. God promised to be with them when they left Egypt, and God was with them through all the adventures they had on their journey. But before they left Egypt, God gave them some instructions and told them to get ready. And the same thing with us. Whether we're going back to school or going on a trip or whatever we're doing, we need to make some plans. Get ready. Get some things ready. In the same way, we're getting ready for or starting a new year in the life of our church, too. We are all a part of a sacred circle of life, of community. Thank you, Abby and Ivy, so much. There are four scripture readings today. The first one is from Exodus chapter 14, verses 19 through 22 and verse 30. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel, and so the cloud was there with the darkness, and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and God drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus God saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. And the second reading from Exodus chapter 15, verses 1b through 11 and 20 and 21. I will sing to God, for God has triumphed gloriously, horse and rider thrown into the sea. God is my strength and my might and has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise Yahweh, my Father's God, and I will exalt God. And the third reading is Psalm 114. When Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel, God's dominion. The sea looked and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why is it, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back, O mountains that you skip like rams, O hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of God, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. And the last reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearing and understanding of these words of God's holy community. Amen. All of the readings today, as different as they are, concern the building up of the community. They remind us of stories at the heat of our lives and the Christian community. Very human stories of courage and conflict, love and longing, freedom and struggle as we begin a new year. Gathering into a sacred circle of our church family, let us take time to remember our story and rediscover who and whose we are. And friends, now in lieu of prayers of the people today, I invite you to visit our website at billingsfirstchurch.org. And you need to know there's an old website address out there. You don't want that one. It's not updated at all. Again, you want billingsfirstchurch.org. And please go to our prayer wall and say a prayer or submit a prayer for friends, family, community, nation, world, remembering that when we pray, we do not pray alone. Today, we especially lift David Blaine in the loss of his mother, Letitia Stewart. We pray for Alana Buffalo Spirit, whose sister, my friend, Renetta Kaline, crossed over. We pray for all who have suffered 
loss due to raging fires, especially Charlie and Tim Swinehart. For Tom Howard's friends in Oregon, and so, so many more, we pray for beloved Mother Earth. So as you find our prayer wall, please keep these, our sisters and brothers, in mind too. And know that you are in our hearts, on our minds, and in our prayers. Praise God. Amen. As mentioned, today is Rally Day, and it's a time when we come back together. It's a time when we kick off our youth programs, our educational programs, our faith formation programs, and it's also a time when we recovenant to each other. So we renew our, our vows and our promises to each other as we come back into community, and of course, Rally Day looks different this year, right? And we are coming together virtually. Yeah. And so we planned some really special things for the year and we just wanna share them with you today. So the message today is a message that's being brought to you by Nina Hernandez, who is our youth director and myself. And I'm just really excited to have Nina here joining us today. Um, and she is our youth director and she's amazing and doing great things here at Billings First Church. So welcome, Nina. Thank you. So glad you're here. Thank you. Okay. It's cool. It's cool to be behind the camera. Yeah. Aren't you so excited about our children leading out the service today? Yes, I am. And I and I selfishly, I hope we can do it more. Oh. I hope. Yeah. It's kind of a little teaser, but I hope that we can call on more kids to participate this year. I would love that, yeah. especially with what you've got lined up for the kids this year, which yeah. is really exciting. But before we get into that, tell me a little bit about when you became a member of Billings First Congregational Church. Okay. What is your origin story yeah. at Billings First Congregational yeah. Church? Well, I so I should have my mom sitting here. <laughs> well, <laughs> but we could do that. I know, we should do that sometime. We should. Because um, she, she she's would know. She's a historian. Yeah, she is. Yeah. And she knows her stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so my brother and I started coming here with my mom, and I think I was in sixth grade. Fifth or sixth grade, something mm -hmm. like that. And so Gage is in. So Gage is now in sixth grade. Sixth grade. So yeah, so, you're right. Right. You're right. So I'm thinking about the same. Yes. I mean, yeah, just thinking about that, right? All comes around. That's pretty major, isn't it? Oh, to it's think crazy, about that, right? Yeah. That you yeah. started here, and here Gage is in sixth grade. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that until yeah. now. Wow. Yeah. So we started coming here, and um, and then I think I was. So it, it, probably within that time we became members yeah. here, and then um, and then I was confirmed here. I want to say when I was thirteen or fourteen. Wow! So not long after. Yeah. And I um, and I remember actually standing right up there and telling everyone about. Um, a flag that I had made. So, so during my confirmation class, I made a um, a flag out of fabric from my mom's skirt that she wore to tell my grandma she was pregnant with me. Oh, what a story! Yeah, what a great story. Yeah, and I oh. had cut out little crosses and stitched them on yeah. somehow, and yeah. and I remember it was maroon with white crosses, and no kidding. And it meant so much to me to do that, and so um, that sticks out in my mind. And and I was so young, and I'm surprised I remember it. Um, but it was cool to be that's able to share cool that. That's a cool thing. Yeah. That's a, so that's a pretty significant memory of yeah. your kind of um, formation as a youth, you know, and into young adulthood. Do you yeah. have any other stories from like Sunday school? I mean, here you are, youth director yeah. at the church. I know. And do you I remember know. your experience, you know, going through? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, a lot of fun times. Yeah. Because to me, that's that's what it's all about. Right. You know, we learn a lot. And, yeah. Um, and we get to, to practice some really special things, but yeah. then we also have fun yeah. and we have joy with each other. And so I, I remember um, lock-ins. That was back in the day of lock-ins. Lock-ins. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. So, so. I remember those. In this um, big building, I would imagine some kids were thinking it was haunted, you know, it's yeah. so big, right? Yeah. So it was easy to get spooked, I would imagine. Oh yeah, oh and, and doing hide, playing hide and go seek in some oh of those God. scary rooms down there. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and then and and so I I met my husband here. Um, oh. People know Ryan Duffy, my husband, and so he and I met in youth group. And Isn't that special? That's cool. That's wow. really cool. That we is met that really long cool. ago. But and then I also um, you know again full circle, and yeah. now I get to work with Walt Gulick yes. on 
the education and, and faith formation, formation committee, committee yeah. and Walt was actually my mentor, one of my mentors Isn't when I was in Sunday school here. Wow. And so, yeah. And he's still yeah. quite a mentor, isn't he? Oh, he's a huge mentor of he's, mine. Yeah, he's incredible. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to so talk about him a little bit more when we get into kind of what we're doing for the year. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that so oh, much. Yeah. It's so special. It's, I think it's really important that people know mm -hmm. your story, you know, that we know each mm -hmm. other's stories. And so maybe she'll bring back the lock-in. I don't know. I'm, I'm all about I would, it. Close <laughs> our fingers. I'm all for hide and go seek in a scary room. Oh my gosh. Well, tell yeah. me a little bit about what you're excited about for mm -hmm. this new year. We're mm -hmm. in Rally Day and we're kicking off, you know, what we're going to be doing for the year and kind of yeah. what we're promising, you know, to our community and the congregation. So yeah. tell me what you've got going. Yeah, well, so this, this year is going to be a little different. And it's like everything right now, it's yeah. kind of an experiment. Yeah. Because right. this is a new time. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, so instead of instead of kicking off Sunday school over here in the yeah. in the in the actual rooms, we're yeah. gonna do it over Zoom. Yeah, and it'll be um, you know people have to register, so nice. it won't be open to the public. Yeah, um, but we have our our first Sunday school teachers um, are ready to go. Corey Kemet is gonna teach nice. our younger youth, and then uh, our very own. Um, Chelsea is going to teach middle school and high school Lovely. and so all all over zoom but um, we we actually adopted the whole people of God curriculum and so I don't know if, if anyone's worked on whole people of God or not mm -hmm. but it's a beautiful curriculum Ooh, it is and it is powerful and it has so much to it so much yeah. content to yeah. it yeah so yeah I mean and I even Good. I brought my binder. Good. Good. This is just one unit, and yeah. we have, I think, five units for the year. So, yeah. it's just it's chock full of yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, and and so, it kind of goes along, obviously, with the liturgical calendar, so it does. that we can kind of draw, pick things out of even the whole people of God that we're doing here in our regular Sunday service as well yes. with our adults. It's pretty incredible it is yeah and it's, it's actually overwhelming when you and I first got yeah. it we were like it was so much content you oh. know and so how to pick and choose right it's overwhelming but it's a good thing because yeah. we don't have to use all of it no. but we get to use what is going to translate for our community for our community yeah and what's so great yeah. is the teachers that you've lined up I know um, we were on a Zoom call with Chelsea and with Corey. They can kind of pick and choose to their strengths too, yeah. which I really like. And this yeah. cu this curriculum offers so many different ways for different learners. And yes. I loved that part of it as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and Corey is an art teacher, oh. so she's going to do some art projects and and play with what the curriculum has to make it her own. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But we, we I'm excited about it because it's um it's a Canadian curriculum, yeah. and um really pays a lot of respect to Indigenous peoples nice. and um and I've. It's probably too far away to see, but maybe yeah, I don't maybe know. Not. There's there's a logo the 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 sacred circle logo of the entire year is um, representational of Hebrew people um, in, in some of the original Hebrew stories and then ancient stories of indigenous peoples. And so you can see there's sweet grass along the outside and then a cross with leather and um, stars representing exploring the universe and feathers and it's it just the running creation. And the beautiful. whole curriculum yeah. Yeah. is really like that yeah. so the first um the first sunday school is going to be next sunday yeah. which is september 20th right. we'll kick off if you're not registered already make sure to email text me whatever yeah. um, or refer to the email that went out okay um, right. to get registered what about someone yep. who's not you know on our email list if they wanted and they don't know your email right now how would you want somebody who's out there new and that yep. says i really want my children to be a part of this curriculum for the year how yeah. what would you suggest would be the best way for them to kind of engage with you yeah well our website our okay. website has my email on it Perfect. and so people can just drop me a quick email billingsfirstchurch.org yep yep yeah. that's our website it's awesome. I'm on there it's super super simple is there um, a way to register now on by that on that site yet or there's have not we, we on the to, website that but might we be a can good do idea. that yeah, yeah that might be a great idea yeah so um, but yeah well we're gonna kick off Sunday school and then we have our first youth group the first yes. Wednesday night of October we're figuring out how we're gonna do that so look for that information coming but um, we'll have awesome. youth group once a month 
month, the first Wednesday of October, we'll have Halloween celebrations again. We'll have our Christmas pageant again. Yeah. Um, Easter scavenger hunt. That so was so great. Just we have a full year planned. And for we've you. already we've selected the dates for Vacation Bible School. Vacation study Bible School. Vacation school? Bible School is the first week of June, right after school ends. I love it. So we're we're set and we're, we're set ready to and go. We're ready to go. I'm yeah. so excited. Good work. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Nina, and thanks for sharing your story. And, you know, here also, we, um, we really wanted you to have something in hand, just like Nina has her curriculum. We have put together something for everyone, all of our members and our friends and our campus partners. Um, and it is a journal calendar, and it looks kind of like this. Um, we have been working really hard on it over the summer, and it has all of our offerings. It has um, all the information that Nina just shared with us about the youth. It also has spiritual practices, um, significant you know, days and events. It has this beautiful liturgical calendar. Um, it is an incredible journal calendar that we want to share with you, but it's at the printer right now. And we are having it coil binded, which is kind of like, oh, I don't think I brought one, an example of that. But coil binding is such that it'll lie flat when you open it. This one I just kind of put together with those little kind of clasps that we used to use. It's got this beautiful cover that I want to share with you. It's got a welcome letter and it's got lots of art pieces. So bring your colored pens and pencils so that you can do some real beautiful art and journaling. But what I wanted to talk to you about, and Ninus talked about the offerings for youth, and you'll see in this incredible journal calendar, the youth offerings are all laid out here. But the other offerings as well um, that are open to the youth as well, some of them, um, some are more geared towards our adults um, and maybe our teens, if you will. We have like a movie series and things like that. But um, right off at the front on this page, it has all of our offerings. And you'll see our Sunday worship service. We're introducing a new service called Taze. And that finds its origins in Europe, and it's evening, an evening service. So we're going to be doing that with William DiManio, and I'm really excited about that. We're going to pre-record those for right now and put those on our YouTube channel. And then when we transition back to in-person, we will probably do Taze once or twice a month, and I'm really excited about that. Um, and kind of taking on that kind of that vigil kind of feel that we had recently when yeah, we did our vigil, which was, was great. It was really nice. We are going to continue to do our second Sunday coffee hour, so um, look for that. You'll find that here. But I wanted to talk a little bit about our series that we have for our adults uh, this year. Um, our, we're going to be doing, instead of Adult Forum, which, by the way, Walt, has, Walt Gulick has done for so long and done such a lovely job, we're going to be transitioning, as we are so virtual right now, into a movie series where we watch a movie once a month. Our first one in the month of September is Silver Linings Playbook. I don't know if you've seen that movie. Mm -hmm. It's so good. We're going to do a Netflix party, or you can watch it on your own. And then the fourth Sunday of the month, after service, we're going to discuss the movie, just like Second Sunday Coffee. So fourth Sunday of the month, we'll have our 11 a.m. church service. 11.45, we'll go into our discussion of the movie that we watched for that month. And so it's going to be really fun. We've got some great movies uh, picked out for you. Our first one, Silver Linings Playbook, is really a selection from our Justice and Witness Committee um, that um, our WISE task force, our welcoming, inclusive, and supportive, and engaged um, task force, we're trying to be certified as a WISE congregation when it comes to mental health issues and the mental health community. Um, and so this movie kind of deals with mental health issues, and that's why we picked that. So we want to really live into the covenant and live into being when it comes to being a wise congregation. So September, we're going to kick it off like that. We're really excited about that. Our first Bible and book study series is called Out of the Waters, Resisting the Power of Fear. And it really is a story. It's about migration. And our companion book is called Ancient Spirit Rising. And it is available at Bar John's. You may have gotten our email. Um, Sue at Bar John's is so incredible. Every time we do a book series, she just orders a bunch of the books for us. And of course, we always shop local, support small business. And so you can get your books there. We've got some here for purchase as well that are from Sue. So your choice. You can come here and get the book or uh, again at Bar John's. We are starting that in September. So the last 
I think it's September 23rd we're going to start that series and it's a six week series and it's really going to be dynamic and really fun. Um, after that, in January, another book and Bible um, series that we're going to do is called Where Love and Justice Meet. And our companion book is the little book of race and restorative justice. Mm -hmm. And it's really about um, incarceration and issues like that. And, you know, um, a lot of people think love and justice are opposites. Can we, can we have love and justice that go together? Yeah. And so that's what we're really going to be talking about. And that kicks off in January. The next study that we're going to be doing is for the Lenten series, and we do that with Mayflower Church, our great friends over at Mayflower and the Reverend um, Amy Carter. Last year we did the Psalms, a study of the Psalms. This year it's called Just Eating, and it's uh, about a place at the table, um, and it talks about food issues. It talks about yeah. actually um, the health of our bodies. It talks about food justice issues like we had in our recent uh, sermon and yeah. service. And so I'm so excited about me that too. one. That one's going to be yeah. a really good one. So look forward to that as well. And you'll see that all on this page called Beloved Community and our offerings. Additional things that I want to just um, chat with you about. Oh my gosh, do you know our Tuesday morning book club? with Walt Gulick and, and Barbara and, and, um, and others has been going on since 1980. That was before I was born. I would have to know that. That is so awesome. I, I feel so old. Oh my God, no, that's okay. Oh my goodness. That's so great. Since, yeah. the, since the early 80s, yeah. he, this has been the Tuesday Morning Book Club. And right now they're finishing the book called, um, I had it right here, Lincoln on the Verge. And the next book that they're starting is uh, Ibram Kendi's book, Stamped from the Beginning. Which I've read. Which you've read. So good. Powerful book. Yeah. So yeah. if you're mm -hmm. looking for a book club, they meet every Tuesday morning. And it is on Zoom and virtual. And you'll find the information here. So be a part of that book club. I have to tell you, our all church book is incredible. It's called The Time Is Now, and it's by Sister Joan Chittister. And we just had some, well, Jean Guy came into the church today, and she dropped off a pie for David Blaine. As you know, David lost his mother, and so we've delivered a care package to uh, David's family, and uh, Jean is just such a big heart, and she bought a pie from Cheryl Stewart. Who else are you going to buy a pie from, yeah. right? But Cheryl Stewart. Yeah. So. Um, we're going to get that to David, but she said she is reading that book. She is reading The Time Is Now by Sister Joan Chittister, and it is just filling her up and making her feel positive things in a time when it's hard, right? Yeah. And it's really about all of us being prophets and, you know, sharing our light. And, and um, I, I just encourage you to be a part of the All Church book. I think it's a quick read. Um, and uh, Barbara Kulik is, is just really facilitating that and creating groups so you can have discussion around that book. And so look for that. Um, Art Walk in the Chapel. Um, Edward Barta does a great job with our culture. Um, you know, we really want to be a church that's about biblical, theological, spiritual, cultural, and social literacy. And that's why we do what we do. We do the program that we do. We want to raise kids that have civic courage, right, and that have strong voices. And we want to do that with ourselves. I mean, we're all growing together through these times, aren't we? It doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult right now, right? We're all experiencing these yeah. kinds of new for the first time for the first time and we're yeah. walking it together and I'm just draw so much courage from our young people they're being so resilient yeah in a time that's been super difficult I think you could probably say they are <laughs> they're more resilient my kids are more resilient than I am right now so good job Gage and Mia yeah right on <laughs> because it's not easy is it no but we're walking no. it together and that's yeah. what's really important here at Billings First Congregational Church is that we're really attending you know you've heard me say before that we're multi-dimensional and we have to really attend to these parts of who we are and we hope that the programmatic things that Nina's got cooking over there and the, and the programmatic things that we're doing as a church broadly that are going to bring you those things as well and opportunities for community that we're starved for you know right now um, and so Art Walk in the Chapel that is every other month the first Friday of every month from five to nine, and it starts in October. And I'm not sure who our October artist is, but Edward knows and will yeah. tell us. So we'll yeah. start getting messaging out about that. Our intentional healing circle, holy cow, led by Jean Guy and Sarah Hoffman. Incredible, incredible warriors are a part of that intentional healing circle. When we have prayer needs within our congregation and our community, 
they are the go-to circle and they just they just get fired up and they just do some incredible you know energetic um, sending love and Reiki and prayer and it's it's really quite spectacular they're leading the way they're leading the way and yeah. it's a really a help right now especially in the times that we're in yeah. you know that this group is so active and so responsive to things that are happening in the community and especially here at the church and I'm so grateful I'm grateful I get to be a part of that um, and community is ongoing so that is the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at 10 a.m. so we'll continue to uh, do that on zoom bring a mug of tea wherever you are and we sit and talk it's really quite lovely yoga is going to continue first and third mm. thursdays of every month at 10 a.m if if you haven't been if someone hasn't been to one of your classes yet oh. and it's amazing i truly oh, i say you. that genuinely because oh, thank you not only did i did i get it handed to me that one time <laughs> <laughs> i was very sore for the whole week the but whole i also week. it was oh it was it awesome. filled a spiritual need too oh i'm so glad yeah. Yeah. yeah it's true it's just really it's really quite special for all of us in that group i've been doing it for two years now here mm -hmm. and it's it's it continues to be something that really fills me and hopefully fills uh you know the community that we've created so thank you for saying that mm -hmm. so first and third Thursday every month at 10 a.m. And the second and fourth Thursday at 10 a.m. is now Meditation with Sarah Hoffman. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. a half hour or so, and you can join on that as well. More information in this incredible book. Um, and then um, we have some seasonal things going on. You know, we do the sound bath mm -hmm. with Kara Gunhild here with the quartz bowls. Uh, young Ben Yelvington is, um, he and I, uh, went through our 200 yoga certification together. He's an incredible yogi, acro yoga, I mean the whole thing, right? And also is, is, is quite remarkable in leading meditation. And so he's gonna be leading two meditations in the new year around the solstice and the equinox. So that's gonna mm -hmm. be really fun. Um, other seasonal things that we have going on, um, well, we've got workshops, um, through uh, Gene Guy, boost your intuition and upgrade your reality. Hoping maybe in the spring we might have a Reiki one class, mm -hmm. which would be that would be cool, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then of course, um, Barbara Gulick, you know, does um, you know a wonderful job with the labyrinth, and so she'll bring mm -hmm. out the canvas labyrinth, and that will be around the solstice as well. And I think she has another one planned um, for Good Friday. And then Barbara leads the Women's Christmas Retreat, which is really quite special. So I've said a lot, but there's a lot, right? Yeah. And this is our way of being in community with you and really wanting to you know, make firm our covenant um, to our congregation and to our community. Um, if you're just joining us, um, you know, you are welcome to be a part of our church, no matter who you are or where you are in your journey. You're welcome here. I mean. You can probably say since you've been here, since you were 12, that yeah. this, is, this church has been that way. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. You know? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. And, and I love it when we get people who think differently yeah. and have different views about their spirituality and right. Christianity. And right. I love that. I love it's it. It's all, all part of the spoke, right? Yeah. You know, we yeah. really, the divine in the center, God in the center, and there's, there's many paths to the true nature of God, and I think this church has always embraced that, yep. and I think that's really beautiful. So additionally, what you'll find in here, and I know we're probably, I'm going way long, there's membership information, our ministry teams that you can be a part of, that, you know, council recently um, adopted new names for our ministry teams, and so um, you'll be able to take a look at that. I'm hoping you're going to get this in the mail. Every month, there's a quote, every month, there's a theme every month it's like an activity yep They're national little... hispanic heritage month yeah. there's an activity mm -hmm. every quarter um barbara gulick put in some incredible spiritual practices for us quarterly and there are things to do with children quarterly when it comes to those mm -hmm. spiritual practices and then beautiful pictures, mandalas, things that you can color um, that Dixie just, Dixie Yelvington is a graphics designer. She's an artist. She's a yogi. She's all those things. And a member here at Billings First Church, she designed this. I mean, she just did a slam dunk here. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she hit a home run. Yeah. 
She's it's amazing. Exciting. Thank she, you, Dixie. Yeah, thank you, Dixie, <laughs> so much. And um, so we're just really grateful. I hope you will really enjoy and um, joining us on this journey of discovery as we kind of, you know, deepen our relationship with ourselves through this, hopefully with um, each other um, and with God. Um, and so we are just really excited to get this into your hands and um, and so that we can walk this year together, whatever it brings, um, that we might remember that God is God and God is with us and that we're all a part of a sacred circle, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The kids are preaching that today. Boy, they brought they that are. home. Isn't they that sweet? Are. Yes. Well, Nina, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for everything that you're doing mm -hmm. to make this church multidimensional in the way that we're called to be. Not just yeah. here, but out into the world. So thank yeah, you. Thank you yeah. for what you're doing for our, mm -hmm. our kiddos and, and just for us and being a part of this church for so long. You have just brought, you bring so much to this church. Oh, thank you. You really do. Thanks. Yeah, so thanks so much. And thank you all. Thank you all for staying with us. And um, we are just really um, looking forward to Second Sunday Coffee after church okay. service today at uh, 1145. But first, we would love for you to just enjoy our closing hymn called I Believe by Mark Miller. Enjoy. Bye. Thanks, Nina. Go in solidarity. Two, Two one. one. Go in love! <laughs> Go in peace and love. Go in peace and love. You want to look right here at these dots and say it one more Go time. Go in peace and love! Good.